today we are going to discuss about a crystal oscillator and let us see how it generates sine wave see the reason why it is called as a oscillator is explained in this thing oscillators actually converts direct current to to alternating current because of that it is frequency is generated there are different types of oscillators available uh, out of that uh, two types are important a relaxation and harmonic oscillators a relaxation oscillator which generates a triangular wave square wave etc whereas harmonic oscillators will generate only sinusoidal waveforms like uh, crystal oscillator colpits hartley and so on see the circuit diagram in the next till so this is the actually uh, crystal oscillator uh, which we are going to implement after assembling the circuit first measure the dc condition of the amplifier like this vbe vcc vcc by 2 and vc and <clears throat> See the VC is actually half of the VCC and see it is shown in the multimeter as we got practically 2.6. VRE we are going to measure the voltage between resistance uh, resistor and emitter, emitter resistor and the VCC is 5 volts uh, as, as designed by our uh, design. So measure that one also and note down. Uh, that causes a piezoelectric resonator uh, crystal actually works on this basis. Let us implement these conditions and see the output. See here uh, the components and the crystal it is a 455 kilohertz it is given. Is it, it is easily available in the market and the components are assembled just as in the circuit diagram. Just copy and replace the component as on the breadboard. Now you can see that the R1, R2 and RE parallel to CE, VCC all are copied according to the circuit diagram. And SLN ready is used as a transistor and a plus 5 volts is connected as a VCC and just switch on and actually it converts that DC actually converts into AC as per the crystal frequency by using a piezoelectric effect. So now the power supply is switched on and a CRO is connected to the collector where we will get the output and a monitor on the CRO see exactly it is a sine wave. Here the frequency is the advantage of the crystal frequency is frequency stability here the frequency is 2.1 into 1 microseconds it is nothing but roughly about 455 kilohertz you see the time period it is 1 microseconds so it covers one cycle it covers two divisions so it is 455 kilohertz so when compared to other oscillators the crystal frequency frequency stability is very high that's why it's very popular oscillator thank you for watching like and comment subscribe we got the output it's a very simple experiment for circuit diagram and amplifier design link 